Okay, so for this example, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and talk about how we're going to or go ahead and show you uh, how we're going to be able to take data from Autodesk Alias and integrate that data into Autodesk Inventor. Now Autodesk Alias gives us the capability to be able to conceptualize um, and, and develop new ideas and concepts for engineering um, with the flexibility of being able to push and pull surface geometry and come up with conceptual designs very easily in a comfortable to use interface for an industrial designer. Now what we're going to do in this example is we're going to take some um, already existing um, line geometry that I'm going to go ahead and create some some actual surface data with so that I can push that information into Autodesk Inventor. Now Alias gives us the flexibility to create multiple designs very quickly inside the interface. So I don't have to sit down and worry about dimensions and things that way, but rather I can sit down and come up with different concepts um, for my design uh, rather than worrying about the engineering at this stage of development. Now I'm going to be able to sit down and work with this line geometry in a very similar way that I would inside of a conventional CAD model. But what I'm most interested in doing here is creating some uh, different concepts uh, for this printer foot. So I'm going to go ahead and create these different surfaces and I'm going to go ahead and start to trim off some of this geometry here and just inform alias uh, you know which of the surfaces that I actually want to keep for my model. So I'm just going to simply select the areas that I want to keep for this design and trim off the remainder of the components that I'm not interested in keeping and simply just trim those off. Now with the um, printer uh, foot body you know, design, now I want to go ahead and split off some of this geometry because some, there's some additional complex surfaces that I would like to add in here um, uh, for this uh, printer foot. And so I'm going to go ahead and trim off some of this um, geometry directly into the model. Now the nice thing is because Alias is, is a flexible tool, I can simply select an area of the design that I want to work with and have the capability of pushing and pulling, scaling and shrinking the design that I'm working with uh, down or out or you know whatever direction I want to work with that in. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and push the, the, the inset down here just a little bit and also uh, shrink that or scale that down uh, about a point or an axis for for this foot. So very easily I'm able to do this and then I also have the ability to be able to merge up some of those surfaces um, using a variety of different types of surface techniques inside of Alias. Now I'm going to switch over here to uh, another foot that I already have done or I already have completed. I also have the capability of shrinking and stretching and pulling the entire model so I can scale that up um, pull off just different portions or sections of the geometry while leaving other portions or sections of the geometry intact. And so very easily I'm able to come, up, come in here and come up with this conceptual design by leaving the back area where it is and just stretching out the front area of the printer foot design here. And everything updates automatically for me, making it really easy for me to be able to work with this geometry. Now I'll switch over again here um, to some of the original designs that I have. Now in this example, I want to show you how to pass data into Autodesk Inventor. And so I have the capabilities of doing this very easily in a streamlined format. Now here inside the Autodesk Inventor interface, I have the ability to directly open up alias wire files um, uh, that I created inside of, inside of alias. Now the nice thing is um, the data that exists inside of Alias is automatically updatable inside of Autodesk Inventor. So if I change a surface in Alias, it will change the surface in Inventor. And I also have control on the Inventor side. So if I want to associatively import this geometry or non-associatively import geometry, I have the capability of doing that and specifying how I want to bring that data in. So the nice thing is, again, if the industrial designer changes something at the beginning of the process and I've already added fillets, and uh, surfaces onto the geometry in addition to what I built in Alias, I can control exactly what updates on the inventor side. So it really works in a good seamless format. Once the surfaces are brought in to Autodesk Inventor, I can make use of creating solid geometry inside the Autodesk Inventor interface and start working on some of the engineering control 
um, uh, for the geometry that I created inside of Alias. I also have the capability of making use of a variety of tools inside of Autodesk Inventor. And so in this case, I actually want to take this entire solid and split this out into a few different bodies to make use of it for engineering purposes so I can start building my bosses and different components that I need to screw components into this printer and, and, and start working with some of that geometry in more of a more of an engineering specific format. Now I've created from this geometry some uh, surfaces and more complex shapes again if I change the original surfaces and alias I can start to update even this complex geometry inside of Autodesk Inventor now, just to show how we work with some of this data, I've created some additional sketches um, inside of Autodesk Inventor, and here I'm just going to go ahead and place an inset or a rest for this component. Very easily, I can go in here and start making use of some of these more complex plastic feature tools inside the Autodesk Inventor, even though this original surface geometry was built inside of Alias. So, uh, inside of Autodesk Inventor, working with Autodesk Alias, we have a seamless workflow, um, something that's only available from Autodesk in the industry, and it really is easy to use in a seamless environment.